the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. This is It All Began in the 70s, Season 3, Episode 21, A Tale of Two Monasteries. So on Easter Sunday, three years from the date of my second trip to Israel, um, I am now getting into very serious part of my studies uh, in the transition from ASM to the next uh, phase of my life, which will be focused around uh, Bible teaching and my story and how it all connects together and my effort to essentially scientifically prove that there is a God and that you should pay attention, uh, do what he says, or your life will end up in catastrophe um, in this life and the next. That's really the bottom line. I believe I've accumulated enough life experience. I have literally hundreds if not thousands of books in my libraries, electronic and otherwise, uh, and I believe I've got enough here to add something to the conversation about God. So what does that mean for ASM? That means, as I said before, um, my my hard end date is December 31st, 2023, which is a little over 18 months from now. And at that point, win, lose, or draw, it's going to be handed over to Alper. Um, possibly sooner if the um, SEC matter is settled, but that's the future. So my focus will uh, be 95% towards Bible study and materials I'm developing and 5% maintenance of the issues and items that I've already promised I would take care of uh, relative to ASM. Now, I want to be clear about something, again, because I never know who listens to which parts of these There is no financial payoff for me in ASM, and there never was, frankly, for the last 10 years since I uh, parceled off my stake to keep everything funded. Um, I'm fully funded into the next part of my life, so there's no financial noose around my neck. There's no way that you can leverage anything against me regarding ASM. It does not have any bearing on my future other than the story that I will tell about it. And even if that story never results in this thing becoming what it should and rewarding the stakeholders, I have enough material in just the construction process to make my point about God and his provision. And I'll say this as well. Nobody gets to profit off of my demise or my harm. So what's going to happen if those who are vested in this project don't step up and help is it's just going to circle the drain until Alper can't hold it together anymore, and then it will be stolen away by somebody else and put online anyway. It's already happened, um, several copies that are very close. There's no question in my mind whatsoever that everybody knows we're here. We created the category of a sports stock market. That's a fact. There's no way to take that away. It never existed before we, we created the first model. And our name is all over the place, and it's all over patent documents, and it's all over... It's in the history books, okay? It's in the history books no matter what. And so the design is there. When you file a patent application, you disclose these things. So the blueprints are going to either be put in motion to the credit of our stockholders by by the people who should have it, or they're going to be stolen away by somebody else. But no matter what, I'm the principal architect that may make you angry or whatever, but look, I'm the principal architect. My name will forever be attached to that because it's the truth. I wrote the design, Ace implemented the design, and that's the bottom line. And my story goes on no matter what. It goes on no matter what because the construction aspect, putting it all together is enough of a story along with, with the my connection to God and, and everything that's happened. It's enough of a story to make a difference in, in the kingdom of God. So It doesn't matter whether I profit or not. But if those of you who have a stake in this, about 950 of you, uh, want to actually see that return, then I can tell you straight up, and you can scoff all you want. God, the God of Israel is simply not going to allow this project to proceed until the injustices that were put on my back are taken off. 
So the clock is running on that now, okay? It's running, there's a real deadline now. It's December 31st, 2023. And so if that doesn't happen by that date, then it's just all going to fall to the ground and amount to nothing. Somebody else will pick up the pieces and uh, profit from it. However, the origin story is never going to be able to be taken away from me personally. And that's all I need to make the next phase of my life work. Because as I've said, I'm not trying to go out and uh, gain capital or become rich or any of those things. That vow of poverty is is absolutely real. And I'm fully confident that uh, I will be taken care of no matter what happens to ASM, whether our stakeholders profit off of it or somebody else does. Because it will get put online. It's either going to be by us or it's going to be by somebody else. And when it's put online, even if it's not done exactly right, it's still going to make a big difference over what is presently out there, which is the gambling and fantasy sports rackets. So what is the tale of two monasteries? Well, on this Easter Sunday, three years from my second anniversary, I am going to be basically going into the monastery, my monastery, and why two monasteries? I mean, I, figuratively, but it's it's pretty much configured with a library and all the materials to do deep study. Elon Musk basically made a comment some months ago, about six months ago, I think, about his Texas tech monastery. Well, I, and it's amusing to me that he thinks that life is a sim- computer simulation. He's He's on to something. He's got a little whiff of the reality of things, but it's it's not about technical stuff. Um, so he has a tech monastery, and I have basically a real monastery. And so if you want to help, uh, again, the main principal thing is the SEC matter. That really, uh, getting that cloud off of our back is uh, going to be the biggest trigger to being able to get a funding example done. Uh, that's really principal. If you want to help with that and you know some way that you can, maybe it's a swearing affidavit to the court or anything and anything whatsoever you think you can do to help us resolve that, so letters of support or whatever, um, then just send a, a message to help at allsportsmarket.com and I'll route it uh, to Alper Chad and his team. Um, behind that, right behind that is the uh, the Leon case. That's the same deal. I, I can, you know, I can tell you straight up. It, until that, until that's put away in an irreversible fashion, there will be no profiting on ASM. It's just God will. Not, it's not through the actions of my hand. It's just it's unjust. It's not going to happen. It was wrong. It should never, never should have never happened in the first place. I should have never been left alone. Should have never been had my uh, backstabbed by a company lawyer. None of that should have ever happened. I should have been allowed to answer the complaint. There's many shoulda, shoulda, shouldas along the way where I, this thing should have been stopped and it wasn't. So until it is, okay, until it is, basically until all the legal clouds are taken off of me personally, they can be placed on something else. You know, they can be placed on the company or, you know, but as long as they hang over my head personally, there will be no profit for anybody who has a stake in ASM. And I'll go back to the original statement that every dollar you put in this thing since 2014 restart was marked as a donation. So that's the legal foundation of this, okay? No matter what the SEC is trying to get away with, it was marked a donation. And people do give away things when you donate money. So our principal defense there is that they never answered the no action. That's going to be, that's a, that's a poison pill. You're not going to get out of that. But right behind that, there's the basket of goods theory, which is that nonprofits give away things all the time. And it wasn't just stock. It was always stock and other things. It was stock and bonus margin and sometimes goodies and party uh, party go- you know, party know, tickets and that stuff. So if you want to profit off of this, okay, my goals, you're not going to hurt me. Those of you out there that are just sitting on your hands because you think it's going to hurt me, I'm moving on, okay? You need to get that. I'm moving on no matter what. My life is going to move on. I already have the trajectory set. I know the path. I've got all the stuff underway. And I'm just dialing my focus up to 95% now with 5% to ASM, okay? So you're not going to end your my you're not going to have any negative impact on my life whatsoever if you don't help. But if you want a reward, if you want your stake to become valuable, then participate in the removal of these things from my back and the company, namely the SEC case and the Leon matter. 
unless and until that happens, and I've said this to Alper many, many times, unless and until that happens, there will be no reward for anybody. That's, that's just, it's not going to happen. And it won't be through any action on my part or any malice on my part. It just won't happen because it's dead wrong. It's unjust. It's not going to happen. Um, I don't need to be left with a, a financial reward, but I cannot be left with a sword hanging over my neck. So <clears throat> lose that notion, okay? Lose that notion. Get your big boy pants on. And if you want to, uh, to get paid, okay, get that bag, then give Alper a hand. Help at allsportsmarket.com and I'll route it. Thank you for your time and attention. And again, see the show notes for any um, links and uh, important information. Bye now.